Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through starting with a domain name that you found that is available and take you through actually buying it on Namecheap. So earlier I had been looking at WP Funnel and we're back here at instantdomainsearch.com and wpfunnel.com is not available and I really want a .com a domain. So I want to keep WP Funnel and what I did find that is if I add the word demo at the back of WP Funnel, wpfunneldemo.com is available. So that is what we are going to register today. Now I find it easier to create a single email account that I use for all my uh, setup of the uh, domain, the hosting, and even the WordPress site for the admin email. And what I do is I use a Gmail account and we create a new Gmail account. And what I do is I create a Gmail account using the domain in this case, I'm using WPFunnelDemo.com. I'm going to use that as my username for my Gmail. Because chances are, if nobody's registered the domain, they're not going to register this as a Gmail account. And there, I therefore, it makes it easier for me to remember WFE, WPFunnelDemo.com at Gmail.com is the email address that I use for my domain. And we're going to put a password in here. And we'll do the same password there. We'll put in a birthday. And I am, no, there. Now, you can't put a mobile phone or your current email address in to uh, create the account. Uh, it's up to you. I find if you have a current email address, you can always use as a backup. It's easier if you forget any info on this Gmail account, they can send the info there. But for now, I won't. United States, next step. We'll remember that. And we have privacy and terms, which we then have to uh, uh, agree to. And there we go. We have our new Gmail account. And now what I'm going to do is use this Gmail account as the account that I will set up my uh, domain. Okay, now we are going to Namecheap.com. And this is where we are going to register our new domain. And the easiest way once you come in here is we can, you can either go right to registration and register your domain, or you could sign up for an account first and then, and you can use whatever you want to. I will just use WP Funnel Demo. Oh, we cannot use the period. So WP Funnel Demo, we will drop the dot com. We put in our password. Name and WP, this is where we have our Gmail. Uh, we're gonna choose to not sign up for the newsletter and marketing and we will hit create account and continue. Okay, now we are logged in. We have nothing. If we go to our domain list here, we have nothing. Now we're going to add. We're going to go to domain registration. And we're going to find your new domain name, but we know wpfunneldemo.com and search. And it comes back and says that wpfunneldemo.com is available. Now, as a side note, if you notice when you're searching on Namecheap, it gives you many tabs here to search beyond the .com. There's the popular, but you can also do new, which sometimes they add new uh, domains like .site, .tech. 
There's also 88 cent domains. We're not going to touch that here, but there are domains that they'll give you 88 cents for the first year with a regular price. So if I want a WP Funnel demo dot club, I can pay 88 cents for the first year, but then the regular price is 10.88 a year. So if you wanted to try something out and you didn't want to spend more money, you could actually try some of these 88 cent domains. But what we're going to do today is get WPFunnelDemo.com. The domain is available. We're going to add it to our cart. And once it's in our cart, we're going to view cart. And here in our shopping cart, we have the domain registration for one year. You can choose to leave auto renew on or off. I tend to do it off just in case so you don't forget it goes either way if you're the kind of person who's going to keep this domain long term you want to leave auto renew it just auto renews on its own but sometimes i like being reminded uh, there's a little fee and also uh, there's who is guard now this is important and this is something that i like namecheap does domain privacy for free for the first year and what that means is that your information your registration information is not shared on the who is it's just privacy and what happens and this is usually what happens is if you register a domain for the first year there are people who go through and scrape new domain registrations get the email and then we'll start sending you emails like oh you know i just saw that you just signed up this domain would you be interested in hosting oh hello we saw that you just started this domain would you like some programmer to help build a site so who is guard at namecheap is free for the first year and it's one of the best things you do so leave that enabled you don't have to leave auto renew it is uh i think 288 a year after that which is one of the cheapest for privacy uh for domains which is really why i like namecheap don't really worry about the premium dns there's other stuff down here that you know they try to sell you but basically you have your domain for one year you turn off auto renew or you can leave it on if you want i tend to leave it off uh, you, you you definitely enable who is guard for the first year and then you hit confirm order now here in the cart this is where you start entering your personal information um, and uh, get all this to move forward through the through the uh, you know the the billing process what I will probably do is enter my information in here uh, take you know stop the recording enter all my information and when I get to the next page I will then bring you back on board Okay, now I've put in my information. I'm here at a confirm order page where we still have the one year, no auto renew. Our Who is Guard is turned on. And we're going to go and click on confirm order. Okay, now we are at our payment page. This is where we have to put in our payment method so that we can actually buy our domain. So again, I'm going to turn the video off take care of all the the hush hush payment part, uh, part of this and then I'll bring you back online okay now we've moved on to the next step you could actually use a credit card or PayPal and I've decided to use PayPal for this purchase so right here before we move to PayPal to pay uh, we will show that we have domain registration for WPFunnelDemo.com is one year uh, there's the ICANN fee, which everybody has to pay, 18 cents a year. And then the free Who is Guard for one year, it's $0. And there's my subtotal. Um, and I'm going to now, and, and payment method PayPal, I did not choose auto renewal. And now I'm going to go pay. I'm going to turn you off again, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay. We have finished the purchase. I used my PayPal account. And here's our purchase summary. Oh, and of course they want to know about, nope, thank you. Purchase summary, we purchased our domain registration, wpfunneldemo.com for one year, the free who is, and that's the initial charged. And at the bottom, they'll actually tell you your next steps. These are things you can do. We're not gonna worry about that right now because this uh, video was about getting our domain purchased and at this point if we go to our dashboard and there it is our new brand spanking new domain 
wpfunneldemo.com and it expires a year from now. So there you go. Uh, this is how we went from taking our domain name that we researched and had ready to go, created our Gmail account to use as our uh, email account for all the things we're going to do as far as registering, which we did, and also getting our web hosting and a couple other things as well. So we'll see you in the next video.